Okay, for tonight's lessons in sketchy wiring. So there's the uh, Chevy Volt battery pack over there. There's the, the DeLorean up on the left, or the top half of it anyway. Um, there's the Chevy um, battery pack 2014, so that's an A123 um, module. There's my relay bank, which is controlling the um, contactors inside the battery. Um, and there's the one of that you can see this one, the smaller one here, um, is actually a charging port, but I've been using that because it has a pre-charger on it. It goes down into the high voltage junction box, um, the Tesla high voltage junction box. The charger's not connected right now, um, so basically it's just a, it's a way for the high voltage to get to the um, front junction box, front high voltage junction box, so you've got 400 volts going in, and then the blue connector there runs off to the DC to DC um, converter. So over here I've got the DC to DC converter. Sorry, the light's in and out of the shadow. Um, and then, uh, as you can see, the battery's currently activated, so it's outputting about 370 volts. And the DC to DC converter is currently putting out 13.53 volts pretty consistently from that. Um, the only things I had to do was I had to give the uh, front high voltage junction box um, plus 12 volts and ground on its lines. I don't think it has just has PWMs or something. I can't remember if it has CAN in or not. Let me check. No, high voltage in and out and then two PW, PWM lines, which I think are related to the heater controls. And then the only thing I had to do on the DC to DC converter, um, it has CAN output, which I'm currently not reading or paying any attention to. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to put out some interesting conversion or low data or temperatures or something. Um, it's normally water cooled. It's not hooked up right now. And then uh, there was an enable line, uh, which I gave it 12 volts. Give it five volts to start with. It didn't do anything. Gave it 12 volts and it came alive. And then there's a um, HVIL in and a HVIL out, um, which are currently not connected. So the only connected is the, um, I've got the multimeter on the 12 volt output. And you can see the red post there and then the black post. So I've got the multimeter across those two. And then I've got ground hooked up to the other ground post, which goes to the, to the case of the DC to DC converter. So basically it's just getting 12 volt enable signal and ground. Um, and then the voltage from the front high voltage junction box, which is getting it via the high voltage junction box, which is coming to it from the battery through the um, contactors in the neck. Okay, so I'll just kind of show you that that's all working. Probably hooking up can might be the next interesting thing just to see what it's spitting out. But that's uh, working DC to DC converter out of the Tesla.